We're now ready to move on to transformations in Nuke. And in fact, Nuke does require a node to transform. And in fact, there is a node called transform. So for example, if I select read two for the spaceship render, I can right mouse button click and choose transform, transform, or press the T key. And there's a transform node. As soon as the node has its properties open in the properties panel, you'll see interactive handle in the viewer. Let me disconnect the B input to merge so you can see that better. There it is. Now I can either transform this interactively or change the properties. For example, you can rotate or scale. It's also center X and Y. And this is the point in screen space where the transform handle rests and where all the transformations happen from. Now it might be nice to get this handle in the center of the ship. You can do that by changing the center X and Y values. So there's 1100 and 500 for X and Y, and now the handle is here. Now you can also move this handle interactively. If you click drag in the center of the circle, you can translate. If you click drag the long arm on the right, that rotates. If you click drag one of the arcs of the circle, that will scale evenly in the X and Y. Or you can click drag one of the dots on the circle to scale unevenly. You can also skew, which is a trapezoidal distortion, by grabbing the short lines. Now you can animate all these properties over time, and in fact we'll discuss that in the next video. For now I want to talk about a few other issues associated with transformations which are useful to know. So let me go ahead and hook up the background once again, and I'll zoom out. Now you notice because I've changed some of the transformations of the ship, its bounding box overhangs the bounding box of the background. That's okay. Now there is a tool to help you keep track of where the edges of the frame are. There's a guides button right here. If you click that, you can turn on one of these guides, for example, action safe. So I know if I move my ship too close to the edge, past that white line, it might get cut off on certain TVs or screens. There's also a title safe. Now if you don't want to see any guides, simply turn it back to no guides. Another new feature with version 7 is the mask button. You can use that by going to mask ratio and picking a new mask ratio that's different from your current one. Now the current ratio is 16.9. It's basically high definition widescreen. I pick a different aspect ratio like 4.3, which is standard television, and then turn on one of my masks like half, you'll see that it crops off the corners and this shows you what would happen if you had to convert the 16.9 to 4.3. Now if you want to turn it off, return that button to no mask. Now another issue associated with transformations is reformatting. Reformatting is something you can do when you're working with footage that has different resolutions. Let me go to read one and bring in a different background. I'm going to grab another image. This one's just called Sky. And because it's a different size, different resolution, my frame looks different. My new Sky is only 1280 by 960. It's much smaller. You can solve that though by reformatting. If I choose the read one node, I can right mouse button click and choose transform, reformat. Reformat will force the sky to be the same size as a ship. Now the fact that I have a transform on the ship node is going to continue to give me an overhanging bounding box. But now if I go ahead and delete my transform, you'll see what happens. And I'll zoom in. The ship and the reformatted sky are the same size, so everything fits perfectly. There's no overhanging images. The reformat works by simply scaling. If we look at the properties up here at the top, you can see that it scales to the current root format, and that's basically the resolution determined by the project settings, 1920 by 1080. And by default, it resizes it by stretching it out in the width. Now, part of the image might be cut off that way, but you can also select some different options for resize type. For example, you can choose Distort, which distorts the image so all four corners match the proper resolution. We're now ready to move on to animation.